Hello Sagittarius, welcome into your reading. Thank you so much for being here. Let me tell you, the outcome is beautiful. You have the Ten of Cups. So whatever it is that you're worrying about right now, you have the Ten of Cups as your outcome. So you're going to be... Um, you're going to be really happy with whatever the outcome of your situation is. Um, so let's get into this. So I feel like some of you are, are having issues with work something about misalignment um that went on at work it could be with a fire sign i see here aries leo sagittarius so i'm sorry earth sign virgo capricorn or taurus if i'm not something happened with your work but in the past i see where judgment card is here so i feel like something changed maybe a change of position in work and it turned it worked out in your favor because you are able to stand up for yourself here with the king of swords so speaking up more getting defense either you're defending yourself or you're getting other people to defend you so you could be getting a police officer or a lawyer whatever it is but judgment was called here you stood up you were in your power your strength beautiful I feel like realizing that the power is within you with the strength card and the empress energy here for you Sagittarius all right so i feel like beautiful things are happening a transformation taking place you're really tapping into your intuition for your next seven days ahead so it's definitely working out your in your favor with the strength card and the ten of cups energy so you do have love also here so this is i feel um work energy but it's also your love life is also involved here you could be associating with a new love here and this is a water sign, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And I have been saying to you for the past several readings that there's a water sign energy within your presence. We have the lover's card over here on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person could definitely be someone that you're, you're meant to be with. A divine counterpart. When it comes to your business, we have the king of wands. I'm taking it upright. Um... So I just, I feel like you're, you're going to be successful in business. Some new offering of love could be coming into you shortly. Maybe you're seeking out this connection. I'm not sure if you know that this love is on its way or it is already here. So if this is love that you currently have, it's the, I feel like this is the love of your life here. All right. So maybe some of you want to return to your person. I'm not sure how this, it seems like you may want to return and offer or make a new love connection with a person so it could be you making this connection sagittarius or someone wanting to come into you offer you love so i'm very successful energy here for you um let us clarify we're going to clarify some cards your challenge was the empress energy so for me that's saying as it um you are a bit misaligned Sorry for the Empress card. Focusing more on the external rather than the internal. Because with the Empress energy, you realize that you have the power. Can I for the Empress energy, please? I'm sorry, the choice is really. The tools. I hear scientific tools. The tools, the gifts, and the ability to counteract any delusions or illusions or psychological tricks or any barriers you take it from inside out you know with the empress card if you feel someone may be trying to steal from you when you go back to talking about work um i feel like you're going to be you're going to come out successful and on top here on the bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like you have someone, it could be someone defending you or you literally have this person on your side that's there with you toe to toe through whatever you're going through. And this person is ensuring that you're going to be successful. This water energy, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. This could be your energy as well, Sagittarius. Let me get another clarification. Let's clarify the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So 
so I'm hearing some of you may have been blocked or disconnected blocked or disconnected from work from a position in work position at work hmm. blocked disconnected fire of swords energy so I do feel like you're dealing with a lot in this environment um, but you're about to tap into your intuition you're seeking clarity you're using your spiritual gifts and tools here are tools and gifts and you're about to stand up for yourself this is this I feel like this is about you wanting to know if you're t how to defend yourself how to speak up how to be clear um, but I feel like telling you not to worry because things are working in your favor already it's I feel like it is already done you know what I mean I feel like it's already done in your favor let's go for the hermit oh seeking something to do with your your money perhaps Sagittarius we have the two of Pentacles card so it could be a business partnership and this affected like maybe someone lied on you or stole from you or you tried to deceive you, manipulate you, swindle you or and I feel like it did affect you or even your sense of self your if you are a man, you know, like these kind of things would affect your your manhood or it affects your your reputation. So I feel like you're seeking clarity. Maybe you want to detach from this connection, from this person. I also feel like some of you are very are feeling grateful for the ones that are around you now, that are helping you to get through situations. The love of your life, perhaps. You feel grateful. Look at this. The nine of hearts. I feel like you're very grateful, thankful. You feel blessed. You feel blessed, giving thanks. All right, Sagittarius. So then we have the Ace of Cups, which is beautiful love. All right, let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. What's coming in? It's something have in your home. You may be living with this person already or your, someone is about to move in with you. What is the Ace of Cups? Movements. Hmm. Someone may want to move in with you or, or you may want to move in with someone. As if someone may offer you the key, their key. <laughs> All right. So this gesture of love or this new love, someone may be moving, new may be moving into your community or relocating to where you live. Or you may be moving into a place where you find new love. And this is after something has ended. For some of you, this is a connection that you've been with for a while. This per person has has been making you very happy. And maybe you're about to offer them some, some gesture of love. Here in the home, your business is successful. Sagittarius with the King of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups energy. The Queen of Wands. I just I feel like your happiness is already waiting for you it's made it's done it's set aside or it's just ready waiting for you to arrive there okay and now we have the eight of swords again so I just feel like this is about what is within you so energetically going inside of yourself and so like if you feel like you're trapped on the external world you have nowhere to turn you're between a rock and a hard place there's always the internal world where you can meditate and to get clarity to work things out to visualize to put things into place into perspective so you can manifest the life you want i feel like also when you begin to turn inside it gives you more power over your external Right, because once you control your internal energies, that's what is reflected to you externally. I feel like you're about to be breaking barriers as well. So things are working out in your favor. And we're leaving your reading here for the next seven days ahead, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for coming through. 
remember that you can be do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you much love namaste